Hello girls, it's Friday, and that means it's me on the picture square. So, it is my topic this week, and uh, it's a topic that I've been thinking about for a long time. And it's how we limit ourselves due to how we look, um, due to size, due to uh, imperfections in, in some cases. I had an instance at the gym last night, and it reminded me of how much of a hypocrite I am um, when it comes to feeling good about yourself and loving yourself and being confident. Um, okay. And I, you know, I thought I was in this great state of mind, like, uh, nobody's going to be staring at me while I'm at the gym, because I'm just there to work out, and if they stare at me, I'll just be like, hey, I'm here to lose weight like the rest of you guys, you know? Two very thin, very pretty, very snobby girls, and I'm not just saying they're snobby because they're, they're pretty or thin or whatever, they were actually very snobby. They came into the pool... And they just kept like looking at uh, at me, and I was I was like, Are, is is there something on my face? I mean, what, the, you know? And I, I thought I knew how to deal with this, but in essence, I I know how to deal with men when it comes like when it comes to be like that. I know I've I've gone over every scenario, and I didn't realize it until yesterday that I was only thinking about how I would deal with the guys that stare at me because, I mean. Because a lot of the times in my case, when you hear rude comments, it's not from girls. And that's just from my experience. And I found myself at the end of the pool, as far away as humanly possible that I can be from them. And just, just treading water, doing my workout over there. Because I felt uncomfortable. I felt unnerved. I felt um, like as if they were more deserving of the pool than I was. And I don't know why I put myself into that little box, but but there I go. I pay $30 a month to have the same amount of pool as they do. And and I put myself into that position where I have to feel uncomfortable. This is next week's subject, limiting yourself due to size. I limited my gym I, I limited my workout. I got less of a workout because I decided to feel uncomfortable. Because I decided to let myself be affected by these by these girls who probably, uh, they didn't do anything but show up and maybe look at me once or twice. What's the big deal, Shannon? You know, and it makes me feel like... God, I need, I need to get over it. I need to build a bridge and get over it. There I go again, though, limiting myself because of, of my size, you know? And it's just, it's not fair to me. It's not fair for the people around me. I gotta get over it. I'm just getting my workout in. And I didn't get as much of a workout as I would have gotten had I would have let them not affect me like that. And I don't, I don't know, but I think I have a problem getting along with women that I'm maybe jealous of um yeah sure i i was jealous of the fact that they had really teeny bodies and and the uh, whatever but who knows they may be really unhappy with themselves they may be they may have some kind of weird chronic condition or or something you know and and maybe i'm lucky maybe i'm lucky to be who i am and where i'm at and I haven't felt, God, I haven't felt that way since high school. And one of the biggest reasons I was happy to be out of high school. But, I don't know. <sighs> I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of being afraid of the word fat. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being afraid of... of uh, doctors, because I'm afraid they're gonna say, oh, you need to lose weight, or you're gonna be morbidly, blah, blah, you're morbidly obese, you need to lose weight, or you're gonna get diabetes, you know, I mean, I need to stop being afraid of it, because truth is, it's, pr it, it, he's paid to say that, it is the truth, I don't know, I love you girls, and I hope 
you have a wonderful day and I hope that you take it and run with it and explore and I love you guys too. I know I say girls, but nine times out of ten I'm talking about my sisters on the channel. I love you guys just as much. Promise. I hope this stuffy nose goes away. Bye guys.